restaurant we do crudo, which is a variation of Japanese sashimi with a touch of Peruvian ceviche. We have anywhere from 10 to 16 crudo on the menu at all times. We use the highest quality fish that we can possibly find. That's pretty much what dictates uh, the crudo menu here at, at, all the time. Uh, and each, each fish has a, it's a distinctive garnish uh, for the style, the fat content, the texture, and just the integrity of the flesh of each fish. When you're slicing raw fish, follow the grain. You can see where it goes with it. You kind of always want to go against which way the grain's going. The grain's going that way, so therefore, if we cut it that way, it's going to cut an uneven slice. If we cut it this way, it's going to put pressure on itself, and it's going to enable us to get a clean, evenly sliced piece of tuna. So what you want to do is you want to put your fingers on the edge, just on the top, and one securing the bottom. And you kind of want about maybe an eighth of an inch slice. People use so many different forms of fish to, to, to create crudo. Some people will just basically make sashimi and put a few drops of olive oil on it. My style is that I uh, turn each crudo, each fish, into its own completely thought out dish. We are using a uh, big eye tuna, which right now is in season. Uh, you can find bluefin tuna pretty much in any specialty store. You can see the, the even consistency in the slices, which is what you want. I'm using a Montevertine olive oil from Siena. It has a, a very aromatic olive, sweet olive flavor. I just want to gently coat it with olive oil, just drizzle it on top. I'm using a little bit of Maldon salt for this, not too much. Maldon salt has got a nice crunch to it. We're going to add a few drops of lemon juice to this, just one little drop on each one. You want to do this right before it's going to be served because the acid will start to cook it in the style of like a ceviche. What we do here is we evenly plate it. So for the garnish for this dish, it's kind of a marinade of sugar snap peas, chopped black gaeta olives, capers, and tossed with uh, extra virgin olive oil. This is micro frisee. You can buy any baby frisee from the supermarket. And these are uh, purple radish sprouts. Uh, radish sprouts are probably the most common form of microgreen that's, that's readily available in the little plastic cello packages. What you do is you take them, you pick them. So we're just going to put a few drops of the red apple vinaigrette in the salad. Toss it up. Gently lay the salad on top of the tuna. The reasoning for this is this isn't sashimi. While we want the flavor of the fish to come through, what we want to do is we want to accompany the fish. We want to complement it. So, you know, in this style, you have a little bit of garnish on each end, and you have the salad covering. So with each piece, hopefully you would take a little bit of the garnish in the salad and eat it all together. And that's the big eye tuna with snap peas, capers, and red apple vinaigrette.